development. And that's why Mario Götze are coming on. Mainz certainly looking well organised and defending very well all through the opening 45. They've got a five-man defensive line, Mainz, and there's been no way through for Bayern. Let's see if things can get better for Pep Guardiola's side. Mandzukic, the lone striker, getting very little service in spite of uh, Bayern Munich having so much possession. Sean Parker, the man who's caught the goal, timing his run from the centre circle. And it was a mistake by Jerome Boateng that let him through. Here's Philip Lahm. Mandzukic dropping deep to see a bit of the ball. Here's Schweinsteiger. Once more, the sturdy figure of Noveski in the way. Schweinsteiger. Here is Mario Götze. Pause. Philippe Lahm. Müller. Giga Contento. Don't forget, Dunter had to come off in the first half after picking up an injury. So, Bayern's defence may be... will be trying to reorganise themselves. Very unaccustomed lineup at the moment at the back there. So Bayern, in other words, with uh, just three defenders at the back. Contento, Alaba and Boateng, Rafinha and Dante off, Mario Götze brought on to help out up front. This is Geis who's played his part. And there's Philippe Lahm, and it could be, of course, that Lahm has... Uh, Drop back into the right back position. And certainly, plenty of changes in this game for Bayern. Let's see how they can adapt. Here's Alaba trying to pick out Müller on the far side. Does very well. Lahm, Froos, Schweinsteiger. Pospis in front of him. Noveski gets it away for Mainz. And this, of course, will be a very, very difficult second half, I need not tell you. Chance for Sean Parker to try and break through, but this time Alaba was there to mop up the danger. Well, a similar situation to the Mainz goal in the first half when Boateng made that mistake. Chance here for Robin, put cleanly through. Can he beat Beto? He can! It's the equaliser, 1-1, and it came very, very early in the second half. Relief for Matthias Sommer, you could see the expression on his face. Matthias Sommer told the whole story by an aback. Just look at the place that Mario Götze had, slipping it through. The offside trap, I think, not working, and Robin with the easy task of beating Vecklor. Götze had so much time, so much space. Mainz just not picking him up.
Well, things back to normal, shall we say. Bayern not trailing. That was certainly an amazing scoreline to see them 1-0 down at the Allianz Arena. Here's Alaba. Schweinsteiger. Lahm. What have Mainz got to offer? Geis. Free kicks as Kino far for a pretty tame challenge that was on Götze. Well, he's made the difference since he's come on. Mainz just not picking him up. Götze alone. Robin, excellent football. 2 1. Thomas Müller. And that was just the right response by Bayern Munich. That's what they like to see. Hörner's and Rummenigge in the stands. It took them just six or seven minutes to take the lead, to turn the game around. And it's surprising to see the amount of space that they've suddenly got in the Mainz defence. They didn't have any space at all in the first half. And now just look at them. Unmarked. Mainz starting the second half very, very badly. They just lost their concentration. Two on Bayern. And the public address system certainly telling us who is in the lead now. It's the home side, it's Bayern. They've turned the game around. Certainly bad lapses of concentration. Schweinsteiger and still great big gaps there. Fine save by Vector. I think that's the first save that he's been called upon to do. Making a really good stop here, the minekeeper Christian Vetklo. Corner to Bayern, and it's a different game of football. So much room for Bayern in this second half. It's just surprising what has happened to Mainz's concentration. Here they come once more, Müller. Yet another corner. Noveski, the Mainz captain, heads it out. Time break doing Mainz no good at all. And they suddenly find themselves 2 1 down. Schweinsteiger, Mainz all over the place at the moment. Good defending by Stefan Bell. Alba picks it up. Here's Mandzukic. Weinsteiger. Bayern playing much faster now. But of course it's because uh, Mainz are allowing them to. The very versatile Thomas Müller on the ball. Müller. And ball that was sorely by Thomas Müller. I'm not really sure if anybody 
has picked up Mario Götze yet. Maybe Mainz haven't noticed that he's on the field. And Mainz getting ready to make a change. Number 24, Park Ju Hu coming on for Bo Svensson. Pospech concedes possession to Robin. Schweinsteiger. Lahm, got control. He's got plenty of space to run into now. Philip Lahm, Thomas Mullen, his favourite position on the right wing, hugging the touchline. It's where he's most dangerous. Thomas Muller loves to burst into the penalty area and pull the ball back. Here is the substitution. Bo Svensson, Danish international, coming off. And time for the South Korean international to come on. The man who joined from Basel, Juho Park. Here he is, 12 caps for his country. Alaba. And Mainz will be kicking themselves after all the good work in the first 45 minutes. Ten minutes or so have allowed Bayern to turn the game around. Mainz with their thoughts still in the dressing room. And Bayern and Goetze quick to take advantage. Schweinsteiger, clever ball by Schweinsteiger, finds Alaba. Slips it through, trying to pick out Thomas Müller. It's all Bayern now. And Mainz really have only themselves to blame. Diaz gets it away. Lahm. Geis. Controlled by Bell. Long ball forward, trying to pick out Schuppen. No, Sean Parker. It was the man who opened the scoring here to give Mainz that shock lead. Here's Götze. Baumgartlinger. Johannes Geis. Chupamuting. His effort way, way off target. Good striker, Chupamuting. But. Uh, not being used properly this afternoon. Schweinsteiger. Playing a bit deeper than the uh, first half, and I think he prefers that position, Bastian Schweinsteiger. Here's Philipp Lahm. He seems to have taken up his old right back position very definitely now, Philipp Lahm. This is more like the old Bayern Munich under Heinkes. With Schweinsteiger, the holding midfield position, and Lahm in the right back position. Parker, Baumgartlinger, good ball forward, trying to pick out Nikolai Müller. We've seen very little of the Bundesliga's leading scorer, Nikolai Müller, at the moment. And a few more stats coming up for you in a minute. There they are. Bayern, 70% of possession, that won't surprise anybody. 12 shots on goal to Mainz is six. Mainz have scored once, Bayern Munich twice. Here's Müller. Thomas Tuchel, it looks, is getting ready to make another change. 
Shinji Okazaki is the man warming up. And we're told, but it's the goal scorer who's going to come off, Sean Parker. Okazaki, who lost his place to Parker, but Parker's done his job. He scored his beaten man, Will Neuer. Not too many players do that at the Allianz Arena. Oh. Even in away games, here's Lahm. Plenty of space for Lahm now. Schweinsteiger, seeing much more of the ball in his more defensive role, Schweinsteiger. Push on Mandzukic by Stefan Bell. Another dangerous moment for Mainz. David Alaba getting ready to take the free kick, but it's a rather simple shot right at the wall. Alaba, wild effort way over. And I'm sure that Bayern Munich will be talking about that uh, Sean Parker goal for a long time. It's only the fourth goal they've conceded this season. One against Mönchengladbach, one against Freiburg, one against Leverkusen, and now one against Mainz. It's only the second that they've conceded in the Bundesliga at the Allianz Arena. That's it. Uh, Doing very well. Alaba, Contento, Philip Lahm. Back to Boateng. Has to be blamed for that Mainz goal. Bayern only conceding 18 goals last season. That was a new Bundesliga record, one of the many that they've put up. Stefan Bell with the last ditch clearance from Schweinsteiger's pass onto uh, Mandzukic, who's seeing a bit more service now, Mario Mandzukic. Muller, good defending by Diaz, surely that was a push by Thomas Muller, free kick Mainz. Bayern, certainly with more possession under Guardiola, average of 70%. Compared to the 64% of possession they had on average last season on the Heinkers. Chance here for Mainz to go forward. Mik Nikolai Müller. Good shot on goal by Müller. And Manuel Neuer called upon to make a rare, rare save at his near post. Good run by Müller. Winning a corner, a rare corner for Mainz. Schuper Muteng and Noveski coming up for this one. It's pulled back. Good idea. Nikolai Müller's effort. Yet another corner for Mainz.
Not either for the visitors. Johannes Geis going across to take it. and uh, Neuer once again called upon good effort that by Chupamuting quite creative ideas at corners Mainz two very unorthodox corners we've seen in the space of a few seconds another corner Chupamuting and that was a very very dangerous situation for the Bayern defence Good header, Thomas Tuchel knows how close it was. Rising high, Eric Maxim Supermuteng. That could have been the equaliser. Contento not strong enough to keep him out, and Tuchel knows they're not going to get too many chances after this one. That was very, very nearly the equaliser. Zamgartning off, and Christoph Moritz is the man to come on for Mainz. Bit of pressure from Mainz. The man who's just come on, Christoph Moritz. Well, Mainz is turned to trouble Bayern a little bit. Tony Cross. Bayern finding the space once more in this second half. Mainz's energy net levels dropping, of course. A clever ball through 3 1 and Götze made that goal as well. He's made two Mario Götze. What an impact he's had, and only Ernest likes it and Rummenigge too. Well, Götze responsible for two of Bayern Munich's goals. Quick silver feet, just look at this. Gets it across. Plays it right to the foot of Mandzukic, and Mandzukic does what he does best, that is, score goals. No chance for Vetklaw. Big, big gaps in the Mainz defence compared to the first half. When they were defending as a team, they've certainly opened up and let Bayern in. But let's take nothing away from Mario Götze. He created two goals. 3 1 by Munich, and who's going to bet against them now? Pospek. Good work by Pospek. Almost picking up Muller. The pass going a bit astray. And uh, Shinji Okazaki still warming up. Maybe Tuchel deciding to stick to his lineup. What a chance and what a save! Christian Bicklo with a save of the game. Did he get a fingertip? He did. Excellent save that was by Bicklo. Could have been number four. A very, very fine keeper, Christian Vetklaw.
And if the scoreline remains like this, of course, it'll be Bayern who go back to the top of the table. Bayern, Dortmund and Leverkusen, the big top three. It's very close at the top of the table, but then there's a big gap, of course, of about six points to the fourth place side. Well, that's Borussia Mönchengladbach at the start of play on 13. And the top three certainly pulling away from the rest. Junior Diaz. Managing only one goal in their last three games against Bayern. Well, they've managed one today. Guardiola looking a little less dense. Six wins and two draws it's been for Bayern Munich till now. And very much looking like seven wins and two draws. Of space for Muller. Offside man Jukic, and it looks as if uh, Jan Kirchhoff is getting ready to come on for Bayern Munich. And Kirchhoff, of course, formerly of Mainz. Be interesting to see the former Mainz man on against his uh, old teammates. So Mainz's problems continue. Without a win in six Bundesliga games now, if the uh, if they lose this one, and who's to bet against Bayern Munich? The 34 Bundesliga games undefeated. This will be. Just too shy of Hamburg's record, as I told you. Here is Jan Kirchhoff's very special moment. Just before the game, saying hello to his former coach, Thomas Tuchel. Jan Kirchhoff coming on for Mario Mandzukic. 58 appearances for Mainz. He certainly knows the opposition very, very well. Jan Kirchhoff. Subbed on for the fifth time this season by Guardiola. Kirchhoff's first touch of the ball, very elegant defensive midfielder Jan Kirchhoff. Götze, Kirchhoff, Müller. Cross. It's looking so easy for Bayern now. Bayern thus scoring in their last 46 Bundesliga games. And the last time they failed to score was in 2012 in a 0-0 draw against Mainz, will you please? Tuchel knows the game is 
beyond his side now. Chipper Muting. Rom doing well to pinch the ball off him. Noveski's header. And Guardiola coaching from the touchline. Pep Guardiola picking up German with remarkable ease. Many thought that would be a big problem, but uh, he's learnt the language very quickly, can hold press conferences now in German, in fluent German. Yellow card for Jan Kershoff. A little tug there on uh, Nikolai Muller. Getting in a rather difficult position, unable to uh, stop Nikolai Muller by fair means and uh, conceding, receiving a yellow card and conceding a free kick chance for Mainz to pull a goal back. Johannes Geis, the man getting ready for this one. Good effort, but uh, too tame to trouble Manuel Neuer. Tuchel not very happy with that execution, and he's right. Mainz could have done a bit more with that. That was a rather dangerous tackle there. Tony Kors flying in there. Kinova quite rightly stopping play. It was a rather wild challenge by Tony Kors. Benedict Sulla now the man on for Mainz for Sean Parker, so uh, Okazaki can sit down again. Much is disappointment. And Benedict Sulla, a former Bayern Munich youth player, so there's a former player from each side on now. Kirchhoff, formerly of Mainz, on for Bayern. And Zala, formerly of Bayern, on for Mainz. Corner to the visitors. Fallas first touch. Pospech. The chance for Bayern Munich to catch Mainz on the break. This is Mario Götze. Philippe Lahm. Kirchhoff. Very good ball by Kershaw, picking out Alaba. Kershaw, Contento. Bayern using the whole width of the pitch. Much better than the first half. Einsteiger, Robin, so industrious as usual. Alaba's cross, Noveski gets it away. Danger not cleared. Here's Alaba. Through the legs of the Mainz defenders, little push in the back, and it's a penalty, much to the disappointment of the Mainz defenders. It looked like a pretty innocuous push there on uh, Bastian Schweinsteiger, but the referee was. In a good position, here's the replay. Well, Noveski using his hands there, a little shove on Schweinsteiger. 
Well, Bayern have missed quite a few penalties. Let's see if they can convert this one. They've missed three of their last four. Robin, the man to take it. Rob not allowed to take it though, and he looks a bit angry. Thomas Muller is the man getting ready to take it. 4-1 by Munich. Muller scores to put the issue beyond doubt. Well executed penalty by Thomas Muller. Fetklo sent in the wrong direction. Thomas Muller makes it 4 1. Rather unfortunate decision from Mike's perspective. Schweinsteiger accepting the invitation and going down. And the referee compelled to give the penalty from the position he was standing in. 4-1, Bayern. A few more stats coming up for you. 84% of the passes completed by Bayern. But if you want more information, don't forget to go to our website, www bundesliga.com Jan Kirchhoff time for Bayern Munich to start enjoying themselves the home and dry the 4-1 up Kirchhoff, Contento, Götzer, the man who's made the difference. Now, many people have begun to compare Mario Götze to Lionel Messi. Comparisons like that may be a bit too early, but uh, Götze certainly a very, very exciting player. Very injury-prone, though, Mario Götze. 
but uh, you could see the difference he made the moment he came on for the second half. Mainz certainly had more problems than they already had in the first half. Philip Lahm. Just look at Arjen Robben, it's 4-1 to Bayern, but the Dutchman still full of running, full of enthusiasm. Boateng making sure this time that the striker didn't get the ball. Boateng's mistake, of course. Leading to Sean Parker's opening goal for Mainz. Bayern's work off the ball is really sensational. And the amount of passing bewildering for the opposition. These long spells of possession wearing the opposition down. Here they come once more. Philipp Lahm, Schweinsteiger. They certainly still look hungry, Bayern. They probably feel provoked and insulted by that uh, goal that they conceded. Christian Veclo can't be blamed for any of the goals. Sensational save he pulled off a few minutes ago. And now Bayern can start getting ready for Victoria Pinnelson in the Champions League next week. Chance here. But uh, offside, says Torsten Kuhn, with uh, just a few more minutes. It's been an easy home win for Bayern Munich in the end. Hamburg's record sure to be broken very, very soon. Thirty-six unbeaten games for Hamburg back in 1983. Bayern out to break yet another record. Been harrying the opposition all the time. Plenty of energy in the Bayern Munich midfield. All this concise precision pressing. Ball retention, everything for Bayern Munich. Good defending by Jerome Boateng. Kirchhoff. Götze. The magical quick feet of Götze. Schweinsteiger winning a free kick in these dying moments of the Allianz Arena. It's been another very entertaining afternoon for the Bayern Munich supporters. Well, they certainly had a few worrying moments in the first half. But uh, it was quite obvious that Mainz couldn't keep up the pressure. There goes the final whistle by Torsten Kienhofer. It turns out to be another easy home win for Bayern Munich. Bayern now unbeaten for 34 games. Mainz defending well and taking a surprise lead in the first.